Welcome to this week's Emory Sports Update. I'm your host, Katie Wilson. The men's and women's cross country teams competed at the UAA Championships in St. Louis with their women recording a third place finish and the men a fifth place effort. Senior Tamar Surtees led the Emory women's contingent for the fifth straight meet, clocking a personal best 6K time of 22.02 that placed fifth out of 77 runners. By virtue of her finish, Surtees captured first team all UAA honors the first Eagle to claim that distinction since 2008. Junior Lucas Mies topped the men's side with an 8K performance of 25.42 that represented his second best time and that ranked 12th out of 78 entries, enabling him to garner second team all UAA recognition. The teams now turn their attention to the NCAA South Southeast Regional Championships, which will be held on November 15th and hosted by Barry College. The number six ranked Emory women's volleyball team rolled to a 4-0 week that included three victories at its national invitational. Senior Kate Bowman played a key role in the four wins, averaging 4.38 digs per set and being named the MVP of the invitational. Also landing all tournament honors were junior Sydney Miles and sophomore Jessica Haller. Emory, 31-3 on the season, travels to Pittsburgh this weekend for the UAA championships. The number two seeded Eagles will open this Friday against Rochester. The number 24 men's soccer team got back to its winning ways over the weekend with a pair of UAA victories. On Friday, senior Dylan Price's fifth goal of the season in the 82nd minute broke a scoreless deadlock, giving the Eagles a 1-0 decision over Rochester. Junior Nick Shook provided the game's only scoring on Sunday with his second marker of the year, sparking Emory to a 1-0 verdict over Case Western. Junior goalkeeper Abe Hannigan made two saves in posting his seventh shutout of the season. Emory, 13-3-1, closes out its regular season with a Saturday road game versus Carnegie Mellon. The Emory women's swimming and diving team won its second straight dual meet, and the men picked up their first victory of the season against Birmingham Southern College on Saturday. The Eagles combined to record five NCAA qualifying marks and finished first in all but three of the 30 events. The men were led by the performance of sophomore Mitchell Cooper, who recorded an NCAA B cut time in the 400-yard individual medley to win the event. He also claimed a victory in the 500-yard freestyle and was part of the Eagles winning 800-yard freestyle relay. For the women, a pair of Eagles registered B-cut times, both in the 400-yard individual medley, with sophomore Annalise Kowalski taking home first place and freshman Phoebe Edwards finishing second. Kowalski also claimed the number one spot in the 100-yard butterfly and the 200-yard breaststroke. The Eagles are back in action this Saturday when they host a triangle meet with SCAD and Brennan University starting at 11 o'clock a.m. The Emory women's soccer team closed out its home portion of its regular season schedule, battling to a scoreless overtime draw versus Rochester before posting a 3-0 triumph over Case Western Reserve on Sunday. Sophomore Christina Ramirez came through with two goals against the Spartans of Case, giving her five markers on the year, while senior Emily Feldman accounted for Emory's other goal. The Eagles' defense rendered just two shots on goal and routed the team's fourth straight shutout and tenth overall this season. Emory, 10-1-6 on the year, concludes the regular season with a Saturday road game at Carnegie Mellon. The Emory volleyball, men's soccer, and women's soccer teams will find out what awaits them in the postseason on Monday, November 10th, when bids the D3 national tournaments are announced. Fans can keep up by going to NCAA.com for the selection shows that will be streamed, starting at 11 o'clock a.m. with volleyball, followed by women's soccer at 1 o'clock p.m., and then men's soccer at 1.30. Thanks for watching this week, and remember, for all the latest news on Emory Athletics, go to emoryathletics.com. See you next week.